DeSantis. DeSantis in Florida let everybody go crazy over spring break. He then exported all that virus back to wherever, wherever they wanted to go. Um, but it has always been true that they will be more asymptomatic, have lighter symptoms, but spread the virus just the same as anybody else who has bad symptoms. Me spreading the virus and some 19-year-old who barely knows they have it, same effect on you. What now? <laughs> that guy. I mean, just look at those eyes. Those eyes show the rage of roids. Welcome back, everyone. If you haven't done so already, I implore you to go over to parlor.com and follow me. I'll put a link in the description and the pinned comment. So yesterday, during the Fredo propaganda hour, he was busy running cover for his brother, governor of the worst state hit in the country. Yeah, that's not weird at all, right? A supposed journalist interviewing his Democrat governor brother, destroying any sense of principled journalism being practiced? You got giant party city props and mental images of nipple rings that are now burnt into my brain. Speaking of my brain and its health, please give me 30 seconds to tell you about this special offer for my subscribers from this episode's sponsor, Biotrust Ageless Multicollagen. Let me show you all one of the things that's helping me to look better and feel great. Collagen may be the closest thing that we ever get to a real fountain of youth and many health experts now agree consuming collagen is as crucial as it gets to renewing and revitalizing how you look and feel after all collagen is the most abundant protein in your body and is essentially the glue that holds you together so visit my page at www.healthwithdronetech.com and secure your supply of the best collagen on the market anyway cuomo is apparently very butthurt about the fact that florida is seemingly doing much much better than his brother's state. And being the partisan Democrat Party hack that he is, is piling on DeSantis for allegedly being behind the recent spike in corona cases. Of course, ignoring the mass protests that he's been promoting and supporting for the last few weeks. You got a lot of people in your profession who waxed poetically for weeks and weeks about how Florida was going to be just like New York. Wait two weeks, Florida's going to be next. Just like Italy, wait two weeks. Well, hell, we're eight weeks away from that, and it hasn't happened. What now? Shh. Not going to hear him here. You won't see him here. Why? <laughs> Why? I don't know. Maybe it's because you're an obvious bad actor. Could it be because you produce propaganda for the Democrat Party, always covering for Democrats and focusing your negative attention on their political opposition and the Republican Party? Isn't California having a big spike in cases right now? Where's the full court press media beatdown on Newsom? It's non-existent. And that, Fredo, is probably why DeSantis won't come on your joke of a show. When he had a chance to speak, he spoke too soon. He did too little, and now his state is suffering too much. New York's peak in daily cases was what, in April? The five-day average of daily cases hit almost 10,000. Terrible. Things here still aren't great. We're just moving in the right direction. Florida health officials reported nearly 10,000 new uh, coronavirus cases on Saturday. Okay, let's just look at the per capita breakdown of COVID deaths by state. As you can see, New York is at the top along with New Jersey, both Democrat-controlled. Connecticut, Democrat-controlled. Massachusetts, well, that's a Democrat-controlled state. Rhode Island, that's Democrat. Louisiana, Michigan, both Democrats. Now you got to go way down the list here to find the states that are currently under attack by CNN and the rest of the DNC media. Florida is only slightly worse off than California right now. And good luck finding any scrutiny of Newsom in the media. It's all focused on Arizona, Texas, and Florida. I find it funny that Cuomo is accusing DeSantis of jumping too soon and talking smack that came back to bite him as he himself is jumping too soon and talking smack. Does anyone really believe that Chris Cuomo is going to jump down his own brother's throat if cases in New York start to spike? And it's almost certain that that will happen. Of course he won't. This isn't even up for debate anymore. Cuomo already admitted that he's not objective. Uh, me having you on the show is an unusual thing. We've never really done it, uh, but this was an unusual time. And there were unusual needs. And you stepped up in an unusual way. But I've never seen anything like what you did. Thank and you. that's why I'm... So happy to have had you on the show. Um, and I hope you know that. Unusual times, right? He's my big brother. I love him. Of course, I'm not objective. Of course, I'm not objective. But let's call it straight. <laughs> 
So here we have Cuomo admitting that he's not objective. And now we're going to see him here admitting that he did spread coronavirus and didn't emerge from his basement for the first time like that blatantly obvious Orwellian CNN piece he produced. Um, but it has always been true that they will be more asymptomatic, have lighter symptoms, but spread the virus just the same as anybody else who has bad symptoms. Me spreading the virus and some 19 year old who barely knows they have it same effect on you. This guy gives you every reason to distrust him. I love how he blames Florida, baselessly, for spreading coronavirus around the country when we know for a fact that New Yorkers fleeing the city spread it around the country. And without any of this condemnation from Chris Cuomo or the DNC media. So no, Cuomo didn't emerge from his basement for the first time. As we all already knew, he was out in public spreading his alleged sickness, even giving it to his wife, who promoted bathing in bleach to, quote, combat the radiation and metals as a treatment for the coronavirus. Chris's goal here, and in fact the goal of the entire DNC media, is to cover every imaginable base to make sure that Trump loses in November. Part of that is never saying anything negative about Democrats and focusing all bad attention on Republicans, even when they're clearly doing a better job. Not only does he improve Biden's chances, but he deflects attention away from the fact that 43% of US coronavirus deaths are linked to nursing homes. Nursing homes his brother, Andrew Cuomo, sent coronavirus patients to. The last thing I want to point out is newsbusters.org. It's a resource that I've been using for decades now. And they've recently began posting sponsors of these disinformation shows like Cuomo's so that you can make good choices about where you want to spend your money. In this case, it's Choice Hotels. So if you're planning on staying at a hotel, you can avoid that one. That's all for this episode. Please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. If you want to support this channel, you can do so on one of these platforms. You can find all those links in my description and in the pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.